This is the MMD Cream Switches, a budget linear switch that offers full palm from the top and bottom housing. And this is also my 50th switch tried on my Vega. So how do they sound and feel? Let's find out. But first, a quick message from our channel sponsor, the good people at PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for your PCB prototyping and assembly needs and offers everything you need for your dream tech projects. They offer a lot of options for their CNC machinings and they also offer a lot of options for their 3D printing services. And all of this with competitive pricing. So head over now to PCBWay.com and prototype the easy way with PCBWay. Links in the description. What is going guys? Alex here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with of course another 4K switch review and sound test. Today we'll be taking a look and listen at the MMD cream switches. This is my first time trying out an MMD switch and I've heard good things about them. Some say they are like the KTT switches so that is the reason why I'm very much excited for you guys to hear the sound test. And by the way, the switches were sent for a review from Keepzilla, so a huge shout out to them for sending over the switches. All of their links and socials would be on the description down below. I wasn't paid to make the video or the review, so of course, I'll give you guys my unbiased and honest opinion about the switches. So in today's video, it's going to be the usual stock versus loop comparison, a sound comparison versus the cream switches, echo switches, and some KTT switches. And of course, we'll be doing a material breakdown of the switches. Lastly, if you want to hear my own thoughts and opinion on the switch, please do stick around at the end of the sound test. And speaking of sound test, let me give you guys a quick disclaimer before we start that the sound and experience may vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say it might sound and feel different to you and on your keyboard. I'm using of course our Vega 65 with a power carbonate plate, a PCB to plate foam and one case foam. The switches was lubed with a Crydox 05 grade 0 and 105 grade 0 on the springs. The keycaps that was used on the sound test is a Domi key set. So with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the MMD cream switches.
So that was the sound test on the MMD creams. Let me know what you think about them on the comment section down below. I would love to have a discussion with you guys. So feel free to type in, in the comments. And before we talk about my own thoughts and opinion on the switch, you already know the drill. Let's break down the materials that was used on the switch. As you can see, this is a five pin switch. And is using an MX style housing. We have palm on the top housing, palm for the bottom housing, and of course we have palm on the stem. Lastly, the springs with a 45 gram actuation force and a 55 gram bottom out force. So that was the material breakdown on the MMD creams. And if you made it up to this point, I would like to say thank you so much for staying. And again, please do remember that the sound and experience may vary depending on your keyboard build. So we might not have the same experience on the Switch and it might sound a bit different and feel different on your keyboard. Finally, let's all talk about my thoughts on the feel. On stock, it was quite scratchy considering that this is indeed a full palm switch and I also felt that crunch or that plastic raw feeling when typing on them so I don't recommend using them on stock. For me, I really didn't like the typing feel and to be honest, I was expecting quite a lot on stock and maybe this was because we were spoiled by Akko and KDT in terms of smoothness out of the box. Again, for this switch, I don't really recommend using them on stock. Now of course, lubing them really helps out and once lube, it's really smooth and the scratchiness is almost gone. Now for the weight of the switches, at first I thought I might find it light because of the 45 gram actuation force but the 55 gram bottom out force gave some weight to it. Now, do they feel like the Novel Key Screams? Well, no. As you know, the NK Creams has a heavier bottom out force coming in at 70 grams and a 55 gram actuation force. Now, if I'm being honest, I like the typing feel on the MMD Creams more than the NK Creams as I find those a bit heavy when typing for a long time. MMD Creams are spot on for a normal typing and maybe for a longer typing. Moving on to my thoughts on the sound. On stock, it's really all over the place. I mean, you can really hear the raw plastic sound to it. Spring pings are also there, plus you can hear some minor scratchiness as well. So same as the feel, I don't recommend using them on stock, but of course, once lube, it sounds more subtle and a bit more creamier on my build. So it has that deep clack to it. I gotta say, it's my first time trying out the MMD switches and I am loving the sound profile that it brings out on my Vega. It's not that clacky or deep, it's just in the middle of those sound profiles. So overall, I can say that they sound and feel decent considering that they are a bit on the budget side of the switches. I believe they are almost the same price point as the KTT switches and I can say it's worth picking up especially if you haven't tried a full palm switch. But be aware that you might find them scratchy at first and yeah, for me it's a decent new linear switch that you might want to add to your list of linear switch to try. I'm also looking forward to MMD and hoping that they might release some interesting switches soon. And yeah, that is it for the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed and liked the review. And if you do, please don't forget to hit the like button. Let's try to aim the usual the 50 likes. I know we can do it. Again, thank you Keepzilla for sending them over. All of the links would be in the description down below. So what's next? Well, I'm very much excited as I have a lot of switches to review and upload this coming month. So please watch out for that. Again, don't forget to hit the like button, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next Soundtest. Peace.